What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, we're talking Midsummer Scream, uh, a, a topic that we have not talked about since I want to say 2020. It's been a it's been a cold minute. I'm joined today by Sammy, uh, live via satellite Arizona. <laughs> Like uh, via satellite. Via satellite, Arizona. Uh, we got some news today. Midsummer Scream announced something huge today. August 14th and the 15th at the Pasadena Convention Center. Midsummer Scream presents Awaken the Spirits. Uh, Midsummer Scream is uh, obviously everybody knows Midsummer Scream from Long Beach. They do it at the uh, Long Beach Convention Center. I think because this was such a kind of, I wouldn't say last minute, but com something that Normally, Midsummer Scream looks like it takes from like when it's finished to like when it starts. They start planning. I think because they were keeping an eye on the pandemic, they were keeping an eye on things to see how California was going to be. That they kind of threw this one together because they still wanted to give Haunt fans something before Haunt season, which I cannot be more excited about. How do you how are you feeling about this, man? Well, you know what I, I I'm I'm I was as always I'm always excited anytime we get to do anything. Um, and so I think everyone, um, I don't think they're, I think they're called Black Cat Productions, if, I, if I'm correct, or whatever their, their, whatever their team name is. Um, you know, I really thank them all for putting this together. Um, not just for the fans, because obviously, yeah, of course, we're going to be happy. Right. Um, but even more for the vendors, because I know a lot of them count on Midsummer Stream to make that extra buck uh, to sell their products. They work really hard. So, you know, um, I think this means a lot to the vendors as well for right. them to be able to include it on the show floor, you know, to get their products out and as well as for us to bring our wallets out and show some support back and, you know, buy something. Um, Cause I know you, if, if you say, if you have a few extra bucks in that wallet, it's going to be gone. Especially I can if it's promise you that. Yes. Especially if it's a fun girl, pop, I can promise that. And, um, you know, hopefully me with a little bit more disposable income, I'll be able to, you know, throw some support uh, their way too. So, Sammy's no, you know, more of the I'm, uh, the hat sticker kind of guy, you know, or or you know, if he's got a if he's got some something that he catches his attention, Sammy will pick it up. But Sammy's better. Yeah, with I'm, money a, I'm a hat guy. You yeah, are a hat I, guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hat guy. I mean, you can if if you've been watching the channel for any time, I'm usually always wearing a hat. Well, me and you, I think we're both hat people. So yeah. But always, I, I have to agree I, with I, you on that. Though. Unless I'm go, like, unless I'm actually going to like work or it's like a social occasion, I'll do my hair. But yeah, this whole pandemic has made me very much a hat guy. But that's yeah. not what we're here to discuss. Um, <laughs> I, I do want to touch up on the vendor thing too. Uh, if you guys noticed lately, either if you watch us on Boo Bros or if you watch us on uh, on this channel, uh, we've been going to Halloween Depot a lot. Halloween Depot is basically kind of. What was getting us a, a mini fix of what Midsummer Scream, what we remember from those kind of conventions. Uh, Halloween Depot uh, is basically a once a month type of thing where they bring a bunch of vendors and, and they have special guests and stuff and they start selling a bunch of horror merchandise. A lot of uh, small vendors come out, uh, small businesses, should I say, come out and, and sell their products. So it, it's a good way to, to, to keep supporting the small businesses, especially during this time. Um, a lot of people that are running these small businesses, maybe this is their only income. So it's good to go out there and support a lot of the small businesses. So anyone who, who runs a small business is going to be actually at Awaken the Spirits. Um, a big shout out to you guys. We hope people come and show their support and, and buy your, your stuff. But let, let's get into what this Instagram post said today, obviously. Um, so Midsummer Scream yesterday, as of this recording today, is the 15th of June. So on the 14th of June, they released a question mark uh, picture with the same logo for um, Awaken the Spirits, saying tomorrow morning, Midsummer Scream will uh, make a spirited announcement, sure to rattle your bones. So they were giving us uh, some teasing and stuff, and then today, this morning at 9 o'clock uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time, on June 15th, 2021, Midsummer Scream announced, Midsummer Scream is thrilled to introduce an all-new pop-up experience this summer, Awaken the Spirits. Taking place August 14th through the 15th, 2021 at the Pasadena Convention Center, the event will feature more than 200 spooky vendors, live entertainment, and presentation stages where news and information regarding the coming Halloween season will be announced from groups including LA Haunted Hayride, Delusion, Six Flags Magic Mountains Fright Fest, Winchester Mystery House, and more. Tickets go on sale tomorrow, June 16th, 2021 at midsummerscreen.org. Link is in their bio and are expected to sell out quickly. 
Additional news and information regarding Awaken the Spirits will materialize on social media and our website in the days and weeks ahead. We cannot wait to gather with you once again and kick off the Halloween season together. Um, uh, let me, I'm going to interrupt you here because there's the, the first thing that came to my mind after you read that is why the hell did they not say knots and universal? Is it because they don't want to say that they're having an event yet? That is a good question. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, that is something I, I talked a little bit about with, um, KLV today. We were, we were texting back and forth as they announced. And mm-hmm. one thing we noticed was they didn't mention knots or Halloween Horror Nights. So, aka the two biggest panels, the two biggest. Uh, I think the two. It's safe to say the two biggest haunts in SoCal. Um, yeah. So, and that kind of it kind of left me open with the end more part, um, because yeah. maybe HHN and Knots are gonna are gonna kind of wait that month until they can, because you know, last minute if they were to say like a week before, like, hey, we're gonna we want to do a panel, we want to announce some stuff for the fans. They would fit we're gonna lose some stuff. We're, 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 we're gonna they'll, some fit, stuff. they'll fit them in no problem because everyone shows up to those panels. Um, yeah, we know knots uh, as from 2019 from what we saw. Um, knots typically just kind of does like a throwback and kind of sort of teases little minor things. Like I think the biggest announcement there was the two new rooms added in Dark Ride, um, and they were just showing like uh, concept art and and ideas oh. they had in the for the uh, past. And the legacy pins. Yeah, and the legacy pins as well. So that was the big announcement there. Knots typically does their own. Um, you know, press event, annual pass exclusive uh, announcement event at their uh, theme park at the Charles M. Schultz Theater. So uh, they typically save all their announcements for their event. Halloween Hornets, on the other hand, will start announcing stuff little by little and exclusively start an- will announce stuff at conventions such as Midsummer Scream, um, what is it, Monster Palooza, all these different events that they have panels on. They'll have different um announcements uh so yeah it is interesting that halloween horror nights and not scary farm was not mentioned however six flags magic mountain and la haunted hayride were mentioned um another one that i was also a little skeptical about too and maybe could be part of the end more is the new haunt coming to socal which is uh hallow scream over at SeaWorld san diego i mean i know it is I, i know it is ways away it's about a two hour drive from where we are um but it's still kind of local, and I, I could see a lot of haunt fanatics going to drive out there for the weekend to go check it out. So, yeah, I mean, definitely that's one thing I would love to check out if time permitting and schedule permitting. Right. Um, so, what can you expect from uh, this small event, Awaken the Spirits, from Midsummer Scream Team? Well, for those who've been to the Pasadena Convention Center, I've I've never been, but I've seen footage and stuff. It's not. I wouldn't say it's as big as Long Beach Convention Center. Um, yeah. So I don't know what, what to expect. Um, there was also, I noticed in that post, and they, and they could be releasing news about it later, but I didn't hear any mention of a Hall of Shadows. So that will be kind of a bummer because you know me and you, we like to go check out everybody and, and interv- get our interviews and, and yeah. advertise the home haunts as well. But it, it, it does sound like there won't be a Hall of Shadows, but only time will tell. Maybe they'll announce something next week and the next couple of days. We just got to kind of yeah. sit on it and wait. But, I mean, I'm excited I mean, for it, dude. Yeah, I mean, if anything, you know, I really – feel like um, we owe it to the local, you know, home haunters to, to give them love wherever we can. Right. Um, so maybe even if we don't get a hall of shadows, um, because obviously that's a lot of space that usually takes up. Right. Uh, maybe hopefully we'll get a, uh, like a panel with like some of the, the big guys out there. Maybe, you know, um, you know, some of the people that we like are here on the channel, like Pirates Cave. Yeah. We'll get something, you know what I mean? Especially with that show they did last year, man, which was fantastic. That was like that was like, that was like theme park quality show right there. They did a phenomenal job on that. But yeah, um, I I'm really glad. I and you know I messaged Rick West today. I, I was like, hey Rick, you know I just want to let you know, uh, I you know here at the Knights of Horror, behalf of all of us, we're we're super excited that you and your team, you know, came up with this idea, you know, to give us something. It, it's been a it's been a really rough year for everyone. A very slow depressing year for everyone and and to see stuff like this kind of slowly opening up uh, up again uh it, it gives us a lot of hope and and we're, we're just so excited to finally be home and and to check out midsummer scream again even though it's not going to be a full force event i think we'll still have tons of fun it's just the idea of being there and getting to do something like that again is where it's at i like i i, I immediately called sammy this morning and i was like hey dude birthday weekend I think you have to come out because I know Sammy's original plans for 2021 and even 2020 was for him to come out for Midsummer Scream and then him not to come back till haunt season started up again. So, um, yeah, the minute we found out about this, I called up Sammy. Uh, it, it's looking like he, he may be out here. 
Um, we'll leave it at about a maybe 60 to 75 percent right now, but it's looking good. Um, I, I think I need Sammy out here because anyone knows that us we 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 plan panels, show floor like we we plan everything so we can get amazing footage and content for you guys and pass the news down to you guys. Um, and, and we love meeting up with our friends, uh, meeting new f- uh, yeah. new people, meeting up with the fans. It, it's just a fun time, and we really love we really love what we do, honestly. And, and, it's, and it's events yeah. like this that we get to really showcase what we do. So, yeah, and we get to let our wild side out a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I mean, turn it up. We have we have a good time. Um, I'm excited, man. I, I really am. I, I'm really, really, again, thankful for the whole Midsummer Scream team for putting this together. Uh, it has been a rough, rough year, but this is seriously going to be, this is seriously going to be back, feeling back to normal again. And I'm, I'm super excited for it. So, yeah, definitely. I'm, you know, I'm always excited to hear what people are doing. Um, like you said, hang around with like-minded people who enjoy these events. Uh, and crossing my fingers, really cross my fingers that we do get a knots and universal panel because, right. um, you know, those really do get you pumped and make that time between the con, um, you know, the convention and uh, Opening pond day. season just yeah. fly by. Yeah. Cause you just start thinking about it, man, what are they going to do here? What are they going to do there? So, you know, I'm really excited. Even if they don't go, it's still going to be a good event. I, I trust that. I mean, if you think about it, they had that spooky Mart too, spooky, right? That was spooky swap or not the, is it the spooky? It was like a spooky swap me, wasn't it? Yeah, they did something like that. It wasn't that? And I know Midsummer. I don't know if they put it they on, were, but they, uh, they had they were, spon- they they were big sponsors hands. of it too. Yeah, so I, I trust that anything they do is going to be know, good. Our and... boy, our boy John Cook too. I mean, he helped put that together. Yeah. And his wife. We, you know, we always uh we 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 are the biggest fans of the cookbook. The cookbook is like the Bible of the Knights of Horror. We we read it cover to cover. Yeah, man, we, we look study for it. it. We, you know the cookbook. We, we, know. Is, we know. We look for it everywhere. Everywhere, man. We we uh, you can even ask Sammy. I'll go see something at a haunt. Be like cookbook right there, bro. That's the cookbook. And, That's the cookbook, man. And I'm just dreaming of this year because I know the cookbook is hopefully coming. It's coming heavy, states. man. It's looking good. I mean, <laughs> John Cook. I mean, if you follow him on Instagram, he's been really busy, man. He's been a really busy guy, and I have a lot of high hopes for whatever he does this season, whether it be Fear Farm out in Arizona, whether it be anything 13th floor, really. I don't know what he'll be yeah. doing. I mean, he's, he's he's involved in everything. So, I mean, just... The man, the myth, the legend. It's great, man. We love the cookbook. But we're we are super excited for this. Uh, we're going to try to be there the whole weekend, um, Saturday and Sunday. Um, so, look out for us. We will be there. I, 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 I think Rob will be there, too. Um, you know... Couple of the boo- West Coast Boo Bros will be there. Uh, we'll 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 just be there hanging out, vibing out. You see us, come up and say hi. You know, we we'd love to hang out with you guys, catch a panel or something. Um, we're gonna be re- doing a ton of recording, whether it be vlogs, walking the show floor, for recording panels, you name it, we'll be doing it. Um, I'm super excited. Sammy is super excited. We're getting back to normal, uh, and it, it just feels great. It really does. It, it it's yeah. been. It, it feels like you've been in prison and something for so long, and you're finally getting to see freedom again. So. It really is. Yeah, June 15th, a big day. Big it's day. a big day, man. I mean, the day California opened up 100%, it was the day Midsummer Stream announced Awaken the Spirits. We are going to be there, hopefully, and we hope to see you guys there. But if you guys in did, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, make sure to leave a like because it uh, helps out the yeah. channel a lot, helps get the word around about uh, this event and whatnot. Uh, leave some comments down below what you guys think and what you guys want to see at Awaken the Spirits. And... Subscribe to the channel. It is probably the easiest thing you can do. You just have to click that red button, turn on those bell notifications. You'll be aware every time we put up a new video because we're putting out a bunch of content. We are back. It's been a, about a cool minute. It's been a bit of a minute since I've had a one-on-one video with uh, Sammy, so that felt good too. Felt really yeah, good. so uh, we're all excited for this, uh, and we'll see you all in the next video. See you guys in the next Peace. video.